Maple Collector here. I'm going to talk about variegated maples that easily revert. This one that we're looking at right here is Acer Palmatum Goshiki Shidari. Really nice. It's very similar to much more available uh, Toyama Nishiki or Toyama Nishiki. That's how it's pronounced. Um, so, how to make them look like this. This one I've had for many, many years. And uh, I prune out the variegation every year. I mean, not the variegation, the reverted branches. Um, what do I mean by reverted branches? Let me see if I can find one on here. Here we go. This right here, underneath, is a reverted branch on Goshiki Shidari. It'll look pretty much the same on a Toyama Nishiki. So, I generally prune those out. Um, this one's so small, and this tree is uh, pretty large and variegated, so I'm not too worried about pruning it out. Um, here's another... Here's a branch that has a variegated shoot on it. And then this right here, probably next year, it'll probably grow quite a bit this year. I'll probably cut it off. And I'll cut, I'll cut it off, cut uh, reverted branches off either once or twice a year. Um, very important not to fertilize these guys with anything that's like an inorganic fertilizer, even a slow release. I would recommend uh, just using some compost. Um, I, I compost mine in uh, in the winter. Uh, that allows the compost to start kind of sinking into the soil um, by the time they they sprout out, by the time they flush in the spring. So there you go, Goshiki Shidari. This one has a lot of color changes actually in the spring. Um, I like the color it is right now. This phase is probably the best it looks. As summer progresses, uh, those little those pinks and reds kind of disappear, and it just becomes white and green. Um, still very pretty. Nice tree, even in the fall. It's kind of yellow and orange. Okay, here's a few others. I've already shown some of these. Um, there's my rainbow again. This rainbow is getting a lot of play. <laughs> so this one I got was heavily variegated when I got it um, as just a little liner. And it has barely grown. And I've had it for probably five, six years. Um, so I've, I've never even had to prune out uh, reversion. There's no, <laughs> there's no branches that are reverting on this thing. But... Of course, there's no branches growing on it either. Maybe it'll grow this year. This is one that I got last year. This is Taman Nishiki. This one is very hard to come by. This one has better variegation this year than it did uh, last year. It only had a couple of variegated leaves last year. Um, I've already pruned out most of the reversions I want to prune out for this year. Um, I had to, to clip out the main leader. It was it was uh, at least six, eight inches taller in the middle, the main leader. Uh, there we go. If you can see that. Of course you can't. There we go. Clipped off the main leader because it was all reverted. Um, here's a branch that doesn't have much variegation, but it has some, so I'll leave it. Um, it's kind of splitting off into another branch, though. That one probably won't get any variegation, so I'll probably clip it off next year. Uh, there's another little branch down here that also does not have any variegation, uh, so I'll probably clip that next year. If I get a lot more growth on it this year, um, 
especially if there are branches that don't have variegation. I'll, I'll prune it again this year, probably in late summer. Okay, here is when it's just coming out. And I wish I would have uh, waited on pruning out the reverted branch because I could have shown you what I do. Um, but I didn't think about doing this until after I'd already pruned it out. Um, this one's pretty heavily variegated. Uh, the variegation is the lighter red, uh, dark red. The, if a branch has all this dark red color, then it's a reverted branch, and I prune it out. Usually if a branch has even a couple leaves that are different color, variegated, I'll leave it. Um, only cut them out if they don't have any variegation. So this one, the, the leaves will get much brighter red um, in a couple weeks. This is a really pretty tree and it should grow quite a bit too. Hopefully I get another six inches or so growth on it and the leaves get larger too. So that's a real pretty one. So that's it. Um, there's a few others that, that are like this that are the re reverted type, reverting type variegates. Uh, Terra's Beauty, um, Tequila Sunset or Tequila Sunrise. I don't remember which one it is. Tequila Sunset, I think. Um, there's others too. Just uh, I can't think of them right now. But anyway, um, definitely a collector's trees. Um, but I think it's not really that hard to prune out the reversions and, and keep the uh, don't. Uh, over fertilize them, especially with nitrogen fertilizers. Um, so if you if you want a tree that you don't have to prune at all or mess with, this isn't for you. But if you don't mind clipping a couple branches out every year, uh, go for it. Um, one thing you can't do with these is be preoccupied with the structure of the tree because uh, sometimes uh, one of the nicer branches will be a reverted one and it'll make the tree kind of look lopsided when you prune it But they end up evening themselves out anyway. Um, you just got to give them time. You have to be patient with them So if you see one of uh, one of these reverting types available just know what you're getting into and uh, See how much of the tree is already reverted before you buy it um, if you have to clip three-quarters of the tree away to just have one or two variegated branches, it's not a good idea. I recommend buying these smaller with uh, making sure they have a few variegated branches. Uh, that way you can start out uh, training them and uh, keeping the variegation, increasing the variegation uh, when they're young. Unless you're lucky enough to find a large one like a, a rainbow or a Toyama Nishiki that has already has nice uh, variegation and is large but that's rare you can I uh, you can find large ones but usually most of the variegation is gone <clears throat> if you find a large one so like and subscribe and comment share all that good stuff and uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask I'd be happy to answer Sometimes it takes me a couple days before I see the uh, question, though. So just be patient with me. And I will see you again soon.